All right, Grim Rising, everyone. Welcome back. It is Shalanda and Shay Seeking. And I don't know. I just feel like doing like a little bit of a quick read real quick. And um, I guess once these cards fell out, then I'm like, okay, you know what? Let me see what this is about. And it's just like... Um, I don't know. I think the one thing that I was thinking today, right, is um, because I ended up uh, flicking through. Excuse me, apologies. I ended up flicking through. Um, yeah, I've been trying to stay up at night. <laughs> Um, so I'm trying to figure, do something and keep myself busy. But, um, the one thing I was thinking about today was like, um, I feel like, like this, there's this energy to try to like, like a group collective or whatever to, to try to break me to a certain extent. And I, um, and I was just thinking about like, what's the most, what's the most hurtful part or what is the part that you realize, you know, I'm just talking to myself is that like, you're not, I'm not smiling anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like I've been already going through like hardships or dealing with trying to balance out the spiritual and, you know, again, tech and whatever warfare. But recently I was just like, I don't like the fact that whatever this is, excuse me, whew, whatever this is has been able to take away. And it's not really, you know, like my smile, like nobody wants to, nobody's going to be walking around their house all day. You know what I'm saying? Just smiling, you know, like, unless you like, I don't know, that's your job or something. I don't know. Like, <laughs> so I, I think that, I think that people, I, that's what I feel like is, it comes with this misrepresentation of exploiting people in their own homes without them being aware. And even if they may be aware that there might be a hidden camera or two or something like that, they wonder why. Right. And then, you know, and if there is, like I said, still again, any kind of cameras or something, you don't know where, how much, when, who's watching, how they're, you know, so I feel like that's what comes with the thing. So I feel like that's the most, uh, it's the most violating thing I think somebody can do is put your personal life on display. You know, this could be something where, you know, people are watching 24 hours a day, you know. And again, I'm not 100%, like I said, sure, but I'm, this is just something that I sense very heavily in the background for at least the past year, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, seven months at least, six, seven months, okay. And so, you know, it made me think about that. Like, like how much of this, like, some of us are very sensitive beings, right? We may be strong, we might be solid, we may be loyal, we may all these things, but at the same time, some of us are maybe very sensitive to energy, sensitive to a lot of things. And, um, you know, I think that whatever these things that are being done, right, when it comes to those who have a little bit more of an awareness to this, you know, I wonder how much of the population are aware of these types of things, right? Because you don't hear many people talk about it, but... Being someone that picks up, oh my goodness, and I don't even know who we ever finished this video, that picks up on this stuff, this like heightened sense of something. It's almost like, uh, it does have an effect, okay, that's what I want to say. It does have an effect on you, okay? And then also when you wake up to a certain extent and ascend and you, and you realize this is something bigger than even yourself. And that these people may have been exploiting you on a level that's just like, oh my goodness. And then you sit back and you look at yourself and you say, why? Like, what did I do to deserve this? And and then I had to ask myself today, nothing. Nothing. It's just, again, principalities and rulers in those high places. Some people, you know, like I said, there's powers that should be and they do their job just fine. And there's some powers that shouldn't be. And that's just what it is at the end of the day. It ain't no nor black, nor white, nor Mexican, no whatever, none of that. It's just, that's what I'm saying. People are going to at least get in their jobs. Um, they're going to get in their jobs or be in their position. They're going to do right or they're going to do wrong. And that's just it. All right. So, again, it's very important to realize that. Uh, I feel like a lot of, you know, grassroots or, you know, so-called brown and, uh, you know, colored folks or whatnot. You know, they get in their feelings when I talk about things like this because they, they're not really taking into account what I'm saying, right? Again, like I said, that's, that's what, again, fear, emotions, and all this stuff trigger people, and then it makes them react or not even think about what what we're really saying here. I'm not saying that there's not crimes against certain groups in humanity. What I'm saying is we can't continue to go on and say, 
it's this people or that people because it was just people that wanted to do those things that did them. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? And um, you know what I'm saying? And that's how the, these things usually happen, all right? You might even say hierarchy versus law, okay? Or something like that, all right? So, mm, so anyways, well, I can see if I keep my eyes open. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, all right? So yeah, I've been feeling, like I said, for the past three weeks or whatever, you know, like I said, I've been feeling um, some kind of way, you know, um, I think a lot of people think like, like uh, I'm, I'm glad I'm hearing a lot more people talking about being in solitude, solitude and being healthy, right? Um, because people will make you seem like it's something wrong. But again, in these times, this is war times, but it does not, the war times did not just start, okay? We have been already in this energy already. But it's like a lot of these things that are happening that are affecting people on this uh, fifth generation scale or um, other levels, right? Tech and all these other things that, you know, um, there are things that are seen and unseen that will, you know, like that can attack your body and make you, I feel, physically, you know, or mentally or some kind of way ill or even just drained. And then I also think that there is, yes, like uh, sorcery and things like that or you know, wordplay, okay, that may be involved in some of these things, but again, just being aware that it's going on and having someone else mention this when you think that you're in a world where whatever's going on with you, you can't speak to anybody, you want, you don't want, a lot of times as black sheep or chosen ones, you know, you are kind of like isolated, you're like an island, right, cash cow or something, so all eyes are on you and the family and, and outwardly as well, you know, and then that brings in animosity and stuff unknown it's, it's it, it creates already your own targeted situation here right because sometimes i feel like when it comes to this even if it was for something like legit at first i think at some point in time it it, it wasn't and and it's like after that's done who 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 still has access to your stuff could it be a, you know, like, again, could 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 this information be being sold off to a third party? And that's not companies or corporations. That's individuals now. You see what I'm saying? It's a very dangerous thing. Okay. All right, so, um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and go into 41 here, all right? Okay, so it says God blesses um, those who are kind to the poor, okay? Now, I guess we can break down poor. We're not going to do it now, but I'll just t tell out, like, again, for those of you that are into words and etymology like me, you know, I'm just pointing out the ones that would be really good if you wanted to go ahead and read this, you know, like follow along with it or do it on your own. Um, so, mm -hmm. yeah, I already had that. Huh? Yeah, it's okay. Just, that's all right. Just going on up. Um, so, yeah, um, poor would be a good one, like I said to look up here because it depends on what somebody's saying poor is okay matter of fact okay we're just gonna do one y'all and I'm, I'm not gonna read the whole thing i'm just gonna glance at it real quick to see what keywords I, you know i can pick up that may pick uh trigger more thoughts okay lacking money okay let's see <clears throat> god blesses those who are kind to the poor Okay, the poor is those who are lacking money or resources, destitute of wealth, needy, and um, in, indignant. All right, small, scanty, devoured. Let's see. Little. Okay. You know, this made me think about the Zelensky energy because every time they say that name, I can't not help but to think about um, the movie uh, "Honey, I Shrunk the Kids." Okay. <laughs> You know, in the in the uh 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 see come on you're doing too much.
All right. So it makes me think about, like I said, honey, I shrunk the kids. And again, it's, it's make me think about like lost in the garden, right? Okay. Like some people, like somebody, like even that's just like a kind of like in this day and age with whatever's going on here, it's kind of like an excuse for some individuals to utilize resources and, you know, abundance from an individual and then act as though they've lost track of them. Now, this could be to protect them from something big and bad, or this could be also to preserve them so that people can put them in a shallow grave and then come back for them later to help save them or to uh, insecure them. Or this could be also, you know what I'm saying, you could discern however you want to see, or so that they can be able to secretly still utilize your or access, have access to an individual freely, okay? Either or. Right? Yeah. So again, little unfortunate. We um, poor in spirit, okay? But then also that gives me an injury of Christ, uh, Jesus or whatever, okay? So one second, let me grab my glasses. So that gives me the energy of Jesus or something like this. But um, like, I feel like in the beginning of the journey or whatever, it sure felt, felt like there was like a, abundance of, um, and I think that, you know, some of us are very, could be kind of uh, skeptical of things already anyways when you're intuitive, or you just like to really measure things out before you get into things. So I think this is this is another way to be able to get to somebody that's like that. But um, let me see. Yeah, poor in spirit, uh, spiritually humble, okay? The soil, okay? Yeah, okay, commoners, peasants, and servants kind of energy here. Um, and morally inferior or miserable, okay? And again, like I said, oh yeah, that's what I think I was talking about, okay? So people on the outside looking in can look at you and say, you know, look at what they just do all day. That means that they're sad or this person is silent all the time. They don't smile all the time. But I just don't think that this is necessarily true, you know? And I know that people know that people are watching or whatever. And like, I can see when people are trying to conspire and try to make it look like somebody is some kind of way. I can see the difference between, okay? Like I can just read people, so I don't even know why they be playing with me. And I think they're really, you know, they're really cautious about even coming at me. But when they do, you know, I, I just like to shut it down real quick. But, you know, it's just like, I don't know, okay? I don't know, we don't wanna talk. I don't wanna spend too much time. Cause again, I know that again, um, it's all to project and it's all to try to uh, promote like a vi volatile act or aggression here, okay? To provoke somebody, okay? Um, so anyways, let's go ahead and read it. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> and it's not until I pulled this book out, y'all, all right? So again, it says, God blesses those who are, um, who are kind to the poor. Okay. Oh, okay, so now I'm reading it here. Okay, so blessing somebody that's kind to the poor. Mm. So, you know, this is somebody that would give back, right? Um, give back to these particular people, okay? Um, and I feel like this energy, like, okay, when it deals with me, I don't know why I feel like there's like us. It's star, star, star something, like not like movie star, but like star first like I don't know I'm just thinking like some kind of star families or something because I think we have been broken up into like pedigree or something like this okay and um I feel like uh yeah so again what happened to me is being again what okay now these are the cards that we have laid out here okay so we got the sun here in reverse and I'm gonna go ahead and reiterate these as we go but these all fell out and I said you know what let me just take them first the the uh these uh, fell out and then the last three okay so but no first the page cup came out sideways okay so i'm just leaving that down here but then we got the sun in reverse we got the king of pentacles uh the knight of pentacles in reverse um and then we have the king of pentacles okay and then and this is the alternative one where he's tucking that bitcoin into his pocket trying to hide it like as if he don't have it <laughs> i think it's so funny kind of cute all right so then we have um the page of wands in reverse we got the queen of pentacles in reverse we got the wheel of fortune in reverse we got the king of wands in reverse and this is the alternative one where he's very extremely tired from whatever he's been doing with that wand okay <laughs> and then we have the empress okay 
So again, the Empress, like I said, she is going to be a set apart, right? And I know that people, you know, there's a lot of earth angel energy going on around here. And I feel that too. But I, I don't like to use earth angel because that means that this person is going to stay on earth. And I don't think so. I think like I hear, keep hearing um, star boy. Okay. Right. So I feel like this energy is, is elevated. It actually is elevated. Like this, this Empress energy was never supposed to be in a regular situation. Some of us. Okay. And that's just how I'm going to say it. All right. It's just like this ain't nothing regular here. Okay. To be in this status. It's like something you're born, not even really bred into. It's because it's bred, not born and bred into, but you're born and, you know, it's already like written in your DNA code or some, you know, like this. Okay. And also I'm noticing that there's clouds here. I never really thought about that. Like that whole energy of coming in a cloud. But this could also be a clouded judgment. And then if you look at this from the side a little bit, I don't know if y'all, yeah, you can see a little bit. Um, this kind of looks like a face looking down. It almost like God's face is looking at this empress here, right? But I feel like, again, maybe the empress was a little bit too much, you know, for somebody to handle. Or maybe I didn't, I wasn't really aware, you know, or whatever. And I just still think that, um, you know. But then I also think, no, that's not true, okay? I already know. And I can't allow what other people think to try to push me off the course, right? It's about, it's, it's something that is not, you can't just be like the empress, okay? Um... I just feel like, like I said, it's, it's a certain occurrence here. And I feel like what happened is maybe somebody might have been doing some er overview of that. But I know, I think they know, I knew I was the Empress when they came to me. I'll just say that. Right? It's something, something happened where somebody didn't want it to stay that way. Okay? And then something happened also where maybe there might have to be like a slight delay or there's some kind of break and like a, a break or something going on for whatever reasons here. Okay? It's like I'm I'm hearing like preparedness or something like this. So again, like I'm I'm not letting things run my thoughts about you know somebody else doing this this and that. Okay, whatever. Like because whatever they try to set in place, and it has something to do with if it was supposed to be something that was a title that was supposed to be given to me, I know that it's gonna be made right. So I'm actually can't wait until everybody come out and try to lay down these things or whatever, which I feel like they're already doing. I feel like there's already, you know, shoulder rubbing and hand, you know, whatever already, okay? That's why I feel like there's a, such a blockage between me and the world here. Because somebody, you know, maybe this opportunity was something, but somebody chose something else. And, you know, now they want me to just go back to the regular world, right? Um, to just being, you know, regular. And that's like a torturous thing once you know who you are and you've reached such great heights, I feel. It's like a real smack in the face, but this is a professional um, energy that's around here when it comes to me, all right? But I guess it comes with the territory, okay? So it's like that energy of uh, mm -hmm. Bill Quist using the heavens and the earth to free her. I mean, the earth and the water, okay? It's almost like... You know, that, that, that's the backing, I, I guess, that she had or whatever. And, um, yeah. When Tech Boy and uh, Shadow Moon came back to try to save her or whatever, okay? Um, and I just wonder... Do I know what it means? <clears throat> All right. So it says, um, God bless those who are kind to the poor. Um, like he or she helps them out of troubles. All right. And I do feel like this is a masculine energy here. I feel like depending on what part you talk, what part of poor or how you're using or, or interpreting poor. All right. So again, small is also making me think about like the children of the world. Okay, um, needy. You know what I'm saying? That might be also somebody that might need some need some extra help understanding something, whatever. Okay, and uh, protects them and keeps them alive. 
excuse me. I think also this might be talking about, you know, it's resonating. Okay, this is resonating with, again, all of this allegedly. Again, this is not your mama's Bible study. Um, I'm never here to tell you what it is, what it ain't. I'm simply sharing what it looks like to me in prophecy. Yeah. Yes. So. Eat those, the rest of those chicken fingers you keep ordering and not eating the whole thing. And um, one second. Hmm? Go ahead. Alright, this is taking forever. Let me get busy, okay? So yeah, um, keeps them alive, okay? And publicly honors them and this uh and destroys the power of their enemies okay so this is what i feel okay yeah i don't know why i'm hearing like seasonal or something like this okay Yeah, publicly honors them um, and destroys the power of their enemies. What? Have room salads or something. Um, apologies. This is taking too long. Okay, y'all. Honors them and destroys the power of their enemies. Okay. Um, it says, so this might be also, like I said, where I, t I told you I sensed that there is a helper, like a maybe a, a being um, or a person or whatever that is somewhat of a helper. And I feel like, you know, um, this somebody knew something like this was going to happen. And so they did maybe select a certain uh, couple of people to to maybe help them maybe with their platform or something like this. I don't know. Okay. This is what I'm, I'm feeling like this happened or something like this. Okay. And then I feel like some people were using it to actually make fun of people, okay, possibly. And, um, you know, maybe that turned around in somebody's favor, possibly, okay. But this is more so making me think that this is a masculine energy here, okay, that, you know, sees potential in somebody, right, and then tries to find a way to, you know, help them get some kind of public uh, public rep recognition, okay? All right. It's like somebody, maybe like a hierophant energy that knows the game, okay? And then it says he nurses them when they are sick and soothes their pain and worries, okay? So this is like, like I said, the monitoring spirit here um, of like an ancestor or um, maybe, you know, a guy with a little G or somebody here that is like a, you know, like an angelic being or someone who is, you know, like that kind of person. All right, um, and it says, "Oh Lord, I prayed. Uh, be be kind and heal me." Okay. Now what's today? Cause I don't know why that just. Oh, the fourth. Okay, yeah. Wow. Okay, so it's four. We're in uh, Psalms forty-one and four. So again, I prayed, "Be kind and heal me," uh, for I have confessed to my sins. All right, but my enemies. Let me see. I, why did I just hear racketeering? I don't know. Again, this is a universal general message. It's not geared towards anybody. Some things that I see personally, you know what I'm saying, might peek through. But again, this is just, again, going into the ether or whatever and grabbing it, okay? Into some kind of space, all right? And it says, but my enemy says, may he soon die and be forgotten okay it says they act so friendly when they come to visit me while i'm sick all right um but all the time they hate me and are glad that i am lying there upon my bed in pain okay so what do i mean i mean this gives me uh Wow. This gives me 
you know, I, I um, what I, I feel like I've been feeling, okay? You know what I'm saying? But I, I can't tell you that it's it re really my energy. I feel like this is this is someone else's energy that I'm picking up on too. And it's kind of like a mirroring energy here. All right? Yeah. Yeah, this may be somebody else also that... Because I was, I'm just going back to if my mother and my father abandoned me, okay? Okay. And when they leave, they laugh and mock, okay? So I feel like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so like even today, like, you know, like I said, I'm not focusing too much on um, like the reader or tarot um, videos. That there's a, cert, a select couple of young uh, ladies that I visited or whatever today, okay? But... Um, Again, I think that I can hear like the certain things like I'm looking in a mirror like, oh, I look pale. I'm looking in a mirror like this and whatever. So I feel like people are, you know, this is a part of it though, right? So I feel like people are putting like little keywords and things inside of their um their messages, you know. And like I said, it's, it's kind of like school, school age kind of stuff, you know, like to me, okay? My whole thing is just looking at it like it's a sickening thing. Like I would never, I guess this is something that, you know, again... If people aren't really genuinely trying to help somebody, like, cause I can sense on some of these ladies. Mm hmm. I can sense with some. Just put it on there. You wouldn't have to. Um, I can sense some of these ladies are very genuine with what they do, and they're serious about what they do. Okay. But then there's some people that you know you can you can hear envy in their voice, and they just can't wait to say something foul or something like that. Okay. And I think it used to be embarrassing a little bit at first. And then I'm just like, whatever, you know? Okay. So, and it says, and when they leave, they laugh and mock. Okay. But I feel like also this might be talking about also a masculine energy. I told you, I feel like something happened to someone here. <clears throat> Not here, but something happened to someone, you know? They whisper together about... Um, what they will do when I'm dead, okay? Now, this is the energy, man. I'm telling you, it's this second sight thing. It's trippy if you really want to know, okay? And again, I don't I don't drink heavy liquor. I rarely ever drink. And I don't um, do any kind of drugs. You know what I'm saying? So it's um, for anybody that would be going there or whatever, all right? So, but I do think that, again, if you're getting linked up with a twin flame, we have to be careful because... That energy could also be talking about just like other people linking up into your energy field. Like four. Um, and again, it's almost like somebody, like a puppeteer energy, like you controlling somebody, right? Um, yeah, like controlling somebody's moves or something like that. Just driving a, a vehicle or like a body like it's a um, game or something, okay? Now, if this, again, this could be past, present, or future. And I feel like this is something that if it's not, talking about something that's going on right now is very futuristic here, okay? Yeah, all right? But I do hear this. I do sense this, right? I do sense this energy here. Um, you know, I think nobody knows what it feels like to be in that situation to you in that situation. So we're just going to leave it like that. So it says it's fatal, whatever it is, they say. Um, he'll never get out of that bed, okay? So this is like... Oh, this made me think about the, the uh, person that was dealt a fatal blow, possibly, right? In one of these storylines, but then um, that appeared to be dead, but wasn't dead, okay? Mm-hmm. Yes, I see. You just... Huh? No, just go ahead and put it on there. Okay. Um... Yeah. He'll never get out of that bed, okay? And it says, even my best friend has turned against me, okay? Hmm. Why is this sounding so personal here? I 
I'm hearing you're my best friend. That's all. Okay. Um, it says, a man I completely trusted. How often we ate together. So I don't know what this is, right? You know, like I said, I think that some of this stuff is, like I said, oh, and this, we're going to go ahead and say that right now. Because all of this is a ledger, right? And then we're going to also say that I know that there are some things that are being created, just like a game would be. You see what I'm saying? Just like a game kind of would be, right? So for me, it's like having that second sight energy. It's like, you know, I'm feeling like this. If somebody's projecting that here on this reading, it's either they can see what's going on with me and this is like some kind of act or something, some kind of game that people are playing or whatever with people's lives. Um, or B, I'm actually picking up on this energy with my abilities to see this. I'm sensing this and now somebody else is confirming it with what they're saying here. Okay, right? Or, let's see. It could be like, like I said, leading or misleading, right? But this is just in general for me. My goodness. In general for me, this is just there is this energy here that is saying, like part of me is saying that, you know, there are people that's in your family that's rooting for you, but I'm like, okay, where are they at? But then also, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, but this is the thing, legit family members that say that they don't know nothing about this and nothing like this, right? In the household are saying that people are conspiring or talking or saying things or whatever and have things to say about what I'm saying on the platform, all right? So, with, it, with saying that, it's just like I said, this is making me think about this whole thing. Like, I'd be like, oh, yeah, you just wait. Y'all, it's just like, it's just like you, people is just waiting. Like, that's what I feel. I, I feel a sense. Now, it doesn't have to be directly me. It could be somebody here. It could be somebody in this area. It could be whatever, okay? But it, I feel like a lot of people can relate to this right here, okay, these days with, with the kind of things that are going on in this world. A lot of people can relate to this energy here, all right? And so it says, okay, even my best friend turned against me, a man I completely trusted, okay? And it said, Lord, don't you uh, desert me, okay? Now, this eight together, all right? This, oh, okay, this eight together, this could be like breaking bread. This could be, you know, even like studying the word. This could be, you know, people actually going to eat together, okay? Whatever. This could be also, you know, doing other things together. I mean, you just got to look at it how you want to, okay? It says, Lord, don't uh, don't you desert me, okay? Be gracious, Lord, and make me well again so I can pay them back, okay? And it says, I know you are pleased with me because you haven't let my enemies triumph over me. Now, again, this is making me think also about it, uh, the energy of, you know, I think that somebody has been blocked from me Right. I'll just go ahead and give this breakdown real quick. Cause I see some people trying to put some smart stuff, some smart ass shit into some of these messages here. OK. And I feel like that these is people that def definitely dabble in my energy. However, whatever. All right. These could just be trying to people speculate and whatever. I'm going to tell you one thing right now. During this whole situation for the past two years, again, I have not been to a meeting with anyone. I have not been. Um. You know what I'm saying? Signing any kind of contracts. I have not given anybody permission to have access to my body or my vessel. I have not done any of these things. You see what I'm saying? I'm just someone who has this, uh, like I said, this kind of second sight where I can see kind of like behind or in front. Like it's a, just a weird thing here. Like I can sense these things wholeheartedly. And then also that, like reiterating after I found the um, tarot community a couple months back. You know what I'm saying? It's like, why are they, why do it seem like, you know, whatever these storylines are, they match up with my day-to-day -day life, right? And then some of these things also, you know, they could be talking about somebody else and there's a general message or whatever, but there's always been something that triggered me in the background, okay? That something else is going on here, okay? That somebody is oblivious to. Like hypnosis could be being used. The book with the prophecy of Esther and Elijah called The Spring is a play, okay? That happened... I feel in this particular area, okay? And so, this is another thing that kind of like reiterates, you know, this whole storyline here. But, um, let me see. Hmm. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah, because there was like a, la a Last Supper energy in that book, too. Okay? And then a, I think a fight or an argument broke out between the two. Okay? And um, I think that Elijah was trying to protect Esther, right? Um, and, and I think the father hit him, and then he hit the father back in, in um, Shantland or whatever his name was in the book. And he hit him. He hit him and he knocked him out. And I think maybe he almost died or did die or something like that. And he had to go to jail or something like this. But it was self-defense or whatever. Okay? But he ended up getting out of it. Okay? But also that hitting made me think about, like, striking somebody. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, dealing a blow. Okay, maybe that's why it's making me think about this. Like, I got very upset, like I said, when I seen something about something else. And I was writing in my journal, Right? But that's why I didn't do a video. Like, if it's something private to me, or if I, I'm just expressing some kind of feelings, you know, because nobody, I'm, I'm not like an angry person or whatever, but when it comes to abuse of people, especially women and children and, you know, men or people that are defenseless, I get very upset, okay? So, again, I'm not going to take everything to the camera and start talking any old kind of way. But, you know, I have my way of expressing myself. And, again, um, like I said, I was um, expressing myself through writing or whatever. And this was very um, aggressive. You know, you could call it like a poem that was very kind of like aggressive or whatever. And um, mm, let me see. And I felt like when I was writing that, you know what I'm saying? It was the first time that I ever was writing anything that like aggressive, I guess. All right. And so when I was writing that, I'm thinking like, dang, you know, I was just in my head about this or whatever. I hope nobody thinks that, you know, this is about the masculine here. Okay. So it made me think about the girl on um, X-Men, right? Um, that the doctor had did something to her to block her, to stunt her growth or her abilities. And it actually kind of made her a little bit stronger and maybe dangerous or whatever. And I remember them saying, yeah, the last time you got upset or your gaze or something killed your boyfriend or whatever. Okay. And so this is like, like I'm saying, this is what I feel like. Okay. So this could be just like somebody sad about something. Oh, no. This could be somebody sad about something, actually. Because also lately, you know, like, I feel like I've been mirroring that energy, uh, mirror, mirroring that energy, and I've been, like, sad. It's like a kind of like, you know, I don't want to come off like a cold-hearted person, whatever, because I am honest about what I feel on this platform. But let's just get the facts straight. I've never met these people. You understand what I'm saying? Okay. I've never met the twin flame and the twin ray. They they are in a different status or whatever than me, okay? So I've, I've never really met them ever for what I can think of in in the 3D. Unless it's something that I don't know of. You know what I'm saying? I, I go deep here. Like, I'm a, I, I'm a, I, that's what I'm saying. You know, if you watch some channel like The Fifth Kind or... Um, mm -hmm. yes. Not yet. Or some other kind of like... Uh, things like that then you may be into what I'm saying here and we're just gonna leave it at that so again I feel like there are there are other beings on this plane I'll just say that okay so with that in mind I am very uh foggy right here okay Maybe that's why I just, look, and this is just the first time I noticed this fog cloud over the Empress's head. So it's also making me think warfare and war tactics. All right? And again, that may be this too, also. Somebody might be listening to me right now saying that's a fatal blow. But it's really, I'm just, you know, tired right now. It's 5 o'clock in the morning and I didn't really sleep. Okay? But I feel like maybe this does have, this is keep staring at me, Right? It's staring at me. This, look at, okay, I'm going to put it up here. Don't they kind of look like the face, a face or something like this? So it's almost like a cloud of something in the air that's like, you know, hovering over. It's like heavy, I'm hearing like heavy metals or something like that, okay? Yeah, so that's what I'm just saying here, okay? But like I said, I don't know. I, we talk about things that are um, seen and unseen and sensed, okay? So again, make me well again so I can pay them back, okay? I know you are pleased with me because you haven't let my enemies triumph over me. It says, you have preserved me because I was honest. You have admitted me 
uh, forever to your presence, okay? It says, bless the Lord, the God of Israel, who exists from everlasting ages past and on into every everlasting eternal um, ahead. Amen, amen, okay? So, hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like this has something to do with, uh, I, I could definitely sense that I was in this energy today. Like, you know, I'm just so tired of this. It's And I feel like that's just what it is. Because if you don't even know, like, I, I really don't think that people know about, like, energy, vampire. Oh, turn it off. It's done. Um, Like, energy vampires and, and just energy in, in, in general. How, how if, if you don't even know that you have these lot of enemies and they're all just pulling on your fucking energy. It can, you know, that, and then plus, that, that's a concerning thing to me. It's very concerning, especially with the Empress. Now, this is not the regular Empress card, but the, 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 on the regular one, this looks like an angry mob of people standing at her feet. And really, they just don't like her because of, you know, they feel like she thinks that she's lofty, right? They want to pull her off her throne. And then again, a lot of this with the Empress, you know, being in a situation where she's like sitting high and looking low, or it might look like she's in this kind of lofty position or whatever. Um, she's kind of like a commander uh, in chief her own self, you know what I'm saying? In the spiritual realm, okay? And so, um, yeah, there's a lot of people that will see her, want to see her off of this is what I'm saying here. And sometimes it can be, you know, an emperor, okay? Vice versa. So it says, as a deer pants for water, so I long for you. Oh, God. It says, I thirst for, for God. Okay, so uh, 42. Okay. Um, the living God. Where can I find him? Okay. Um, to come and stand before him. Uh, day and night. I weep for his help now okay all right okay now in my head today i you know i think i, I feel like i was commuting with source and i'm like um yeah i don't even know how you how you act like it's almost like someone was like so like what do you want or whatever and i'm just like you know it's like i want to be you know like I don't know, it was just a sense of me wanting to be with, like, knowing that there's a living God here, and I wanted to be, you know, I wanted to meet or whatever. Like, I want to see this living God energy, okay? Because I feel like, in a sense, I feel like other people have been able to, you know what I'm saying? Like, when is my turn? But I feel like I'm not aware that maybe there was a turn, but I, you know, I, I don't know, okay? Like I said, it's just weird, like, all right? Um... But I also feel that somebody also is pulling on my energy, right? So it's very, yeah. Now this living also can be with nationality or something like this here. But really in my eyes, I, I don't see it as anything but energy. All right, so people can go ahead and think that if they want to. But for me, like I said, I'm gonna stick with, you know, somebody's energy, okay? Mm, hold on, I'll do it in a second. Right. And it says, day and night I weep, okay? So let's see, uh, where is this God of yours that scoff, okay? And the thing is, yeah, I feel like this is like a dual nature energy here. Uh, one second, I'm just going to finish this last thing and then I will do it. Yeah, you can put a little bit of that or coconut oil. All right. So it says, take uh, courage, my soul. Do you remember those times? But how could you ever forget them? So this is the part right here where I'm, mm, maybe somebody, some something else. Take courage, my soul. Do you remember those times? But how could you ever forget them? When you led a great, uh, procession to the temple on festival days singing with joy 
um, praising the Lord? Why then be downcast? Why be discouraged and sad? Hope in God. I shall yet praise him again. Yes, I shall again praise him for his help. Huh? Yeah. Three. It says, yet I'm standing here depressed and gloomy, but I will meditate upon your kindness to this lovely land where the Jordan River flows and where Mount Hermon and Mount Mizar stand. All your waves and billows have gone over, okay? Floods of sorrow pour upon me like thunder. Oh, wait a minute, hold on. All your waves and billows have gone over me and flood of sorrow pour upon me like a thunder, like a thundering cataract. Okay, I ain't think that's in the Bible. <laughs> okay, hold on one second. Okay, cataract. Okay, look at this. But you know what I'm saying? Like I said, this looks like somebody's face. But again, like I told you, I feel like you know the Empress. Um, sometimes a uh, emperor kind of the energy reminds me of Empress too. But again, we have the King of Wands here too. You see what I'm saying? And they could barely like um, sit up. But then we have the Queen of Pentacles too. Hold on, here I come. Then we have the Queen of Pentacles here in reverse though too, okay? So I feel like also this is like some kind of gesture to, um, for funding possibly, okay? Or a request for some kind of um, action of some sort, okay? But that's my thing. I feel like sometimes somebody wants you know, really badly for telepathic communication about certain things, but it's just like a lot of things I, I don't feel like I really was guided to see. You know what I'm saying? They should have taught me. I feel like whatever this is, somebody should have taught me whatever something a long time ago, but they they did they refused to show me how to actually take flight, to use my wings, right? And I'm talking about the helmet with wings on it, to soar or fly. Somebody cut off my access to be able to do that. So right now it could be, what, what makes me feel like, okay, let me amp this up real quick so I can get out of here. If, what it makes me feel like right now is that somebody wants the masculine to feel like I forgot about him, right? A masculine or an energy that's close to me, okay? And maybe vice versa, okay? That's what I feel like this is talking about. Like neglect or something is going on when they're really trying to move in to make sure that somebody else gets whatever this opportunity, whatever this relation whatever to see it somebody put it like that it's just somebody just don't want it to be me all right or you or whoever this resonates with okay so they're trying to say like look this person gave up on you it's like almost like that the uh, energy of like god uh, god you know testing job or something like that and then you know what i'm saying what if what would have happened if job did give up on god you see what i'm saying Right? Or is this some kind of miscommunication, right? It's almost like by the time it gets to you, shit switches these days. Right? So it says, yeah, day by day, the Lord also pours out his a steadfast love upon me. And through the night, I sing his songs and pray to God who uh, gives me life, okay? It says, oh God, my rock, I cry. Why have you forsaken me, okay? But this also makes me think about the lover's card, though, too. Oh, this makes me think about the sun here. It's making me think about the sun because he's kind of holding up this flower to, the, to the, the sun in the sky here, okay? He's holding up this flower kind of like to the sun in the sky, and the sun just looking. <laughs> I never noticed that, okay? You know, he like here, you know, and the sun just like mother. <laughs> I never noticed it. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Uh, also, I'm looking at this. Like, okay, the, maybe the fish caught Wanda energy too. You know, like somebody caught a fish, like a uh, fishers of men. Um. Right. This could be also somebody. Like I said, there, there's somebody on many waters. Okay, but it's a ooh, it's a page energy here. Okay, that has caught this fish in this in this cup, and is communicating with it. 
you know, separated from the rest of the fish, the rest of the school of fish. And has been, you know, having it in this cup right here, okay? But, yeah. Fisher of men. Okay? And it says, um, yeah, oh God, my rock. Hold on, why is this here? Hold on, let me see something. I'm about to see if this emperor pop out here. Okay, because we got the queen of cups, the one, the alternative one here, okay? And um, she's getting knocked off of her seat. What? Pepper, that's all you need is pepper. Okay, and then we got the justice card, okay? Let me see, let's see if we, we could get the emperor to pop. Ooh. Okay, we got Justice again, and then we got the Knight of Pentacles. Because when I'm hearing, oh God, my rock, this is making me think about... You know, the Emperor sitting edged, his, his, his throne is etched into the mountaintop. Yeah, why must I suffer this um, attack from an enemy? Their taunts pierce me like uh, fatal wounds. But I feel like, again, you don't even have to listen. Go within. You know what I'm saying? Again and again, they scoff. Where is your? Uh, where is this God of yours? It says, but oh, my soul, uh, don't be discouraged. Okay? Don't be upset. Expect God to act. For I know that I shall again have plenty of reason to praise him for all that he will do. Um, he is my help. He is my God. Okay. So I don't know. This is making me think like a personal energy though. Like a father energy. You see what I'm saying? I don't know. This is, this is, but it's, Yeah. But again, you know, let's see now, because I think that there's been a lot of talk about like a page energy here, but this page energy could also be, you know, I don't know. Huh? It's not done yet. No, it don't need to be yet. I shouldn't even give this video. This is taking too long, and there's just too much going on up in here. Look, these don't even look like eggs. I hope you watch this. I did. Oh, okay. All right. Um. Hmm. Yeah. You know what? This is making me think about like pesky little kids, right? But again, this energy here. But if you think about it, man. You know, this is kind of like the clowning kind of thing that somebody would be doing to, like, I feel like to my energy. Right? This is what it's leading me back to. Like, this is what, how people have been kind of, like, clowning me. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, not realizing, you know what I'm saying, that I could be, like, um, actually an emperor instead of the empress. Right? But a lot of times, you know, it's feeling like there's an equal with both. Okay? Um, but, yeah, this could be this. That's why, I don't know, maybe that's why it's sideways, because it's on some sideways. Okay, so that's what probably what is, again, this is what is making me think. Like, yeah, people just speaking out the side of their mouth. Okay. But still, it's saying accept God, okay? And God is the help, okay? So it says, oh God, defend me from the charges of these merciless, deceitful men. For you are God, my only place of refuge, okay? Okay. Why have you tossed me aside? Why must I mourn at the oppression of my enemies? Oh, send out your light and your uh, truth. Let them lead me. Let them lead me to your temple on your holy mountain, Zion. Mm, there I will go to the altar of God, my exceeding joy, and praise him with my heart. Okay? It says, oh God, my God, my soul. 
Why be so gloomy and discouraged? Trust in God. I shall go again and praise him for his wondrous help. Um, he will make me smile again. Okay? For he is my God. Okay? So again, this make me think. Now look at what it just say. Okay, now Sarah smile. Okay? I don't know. I just heard that. All right? Yeah, I don't know. I just heard Sarah smile. But I don't know. Wasn't John Brown's wife named Sarah? I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know because there's a lot of Christ energy when it comes to John Brown. I hope I'm not boring y'all with this video. I'm, I apologize, but I think it's just taking me a long time. I feel like, again, um, this makes me think about the energy of the sleepwalker or sleep uh, walker or sleep skin crawler energy here. Okay? That's what it makes me think of. It's almost like also make me think like a Jezebel spirit trying to enter into people at night. Like, I'm really picking up on this energy lately. And I think that's why I'm just... I'm testing it out. I'm somebody that does that. I don't know. I just want to test something out. So I've been trying to test it out for the past couple days. If this could be something. Because you don't really know if you're yourself when you sleep. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, this might be a vassal that people want to hijack throughout the day. They want to come and do their dirty work in your vassal. You know what I'm saying? In the sleep realm. You see what I'm saying? In your mind. Just tapping into your, you know, Akashic or your realm, realm sleep. Okay? Yeah. But then again, the star card is here. what this this energy is giving me here i'm gonna stop the video i feel like i'm just too tired i can't keep on going i don't think the video like yeah i'm not really pleased with it but i think it's just really because i really haven't um had any sleep so we will um the shoe shaman makes me think about the shoe shaman Shashon, Shashun. Um, and, and, and. Yeah, we're going to just stop here. All right? And then I'll come back tomorrow.